Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at discrete probability distributions. So every probability distribution must meet the following two conditions, and we're going to look at some examples of discrete probability distributions and check out, you know, how do we tell if they meet these conditions and what does that mean? So the two things, each probability must be between zero and one. Remember with probability, a probability of zero means it cannot happen, and a probability of one means it is certain to happen. Anything in between that is a percent chance, but we cannot have negative probabilities and we can't have a probability greater than one. The next thing is that the sum of the probabilities must be one. This comes from the fact that when we set up a probability distribution, we are listing out all of the possible outcomes and then assigning them or measuring their associated probability. So if we've listed out all of the possible outcomes, then when we add up those probabilities, if that's all the things that can happen, then that needs to be one. So let's check out this example here. Very basic, we've got the results of a coin flip. Well, when we flip a coin, there are two outcomes. It can land with heads face up, or it can land with tails face up. So there we have our outcomes listed. Then we have our associated probabilities. What is the probability when we flip a coin that we land with heads face up? Since we're assuming we have a fair coin here, that should happen half of the time, or 0.5. That probability is between 0 and 1. And same with tails. We have half the time, or 0 0.5, as our probability. So checking that that probability is between 0 and 1, which it is. And then finally, if we add up those two probabilities, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 does give us a total of 1. So this is a proper discrete probability distribution. Let's take a look at creating another. So we're going to create a probability distribution for the discrete random variable x that represents the sum of two dice that have been rolled. So over here we've got a table of possible outcomes. With the first die you can roll 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And with the second die you can roll 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we look at the intersection between the two, we have their sum. So if I roll a 1 and a 1, I get a 2. This is a 6 by 6 grid, so there are 36 possible outcomes or 36 different pairings but that boils down to only sums of 2 through 12. So here we have our list of possible outcomes or our possible sums. Now we want to fill in the associated probability. So how many of those 36 possible outcomes give me a sum of 2? Well I can see that there's only one so my probability there would be 1 out of 36. Next, I would do the same. I would look for how many of those sums give me a sum of 3. Well, 1, 2. So my probability would be 2 out of 36. Continuing in that light, 1, 2, 3 give me a sum of 4. Five, I get one, two, three, four. Four out of 36. Six, that's one, two, three, four, five. Seven, that's one, two, three, four, five, six along that top diagonal. Eight. That's counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 36. 9 is 4 out of 36. 10 is 3 out of 36. 11 is 2 out of 36. And finally, 12 
is 1 out of 36. So there's our probability distribution. Let's verify that it meets all of the criteria. So remember that criteria number one is that each probability needs to be between 0 and 1. Well, in terms of over 36, that would be 0 over 36, and 1 would be 36 out of 36. So just looking at our numerators for each one, 1 is between 0 and 36, 2 is between 0 and 36, and so on. We can verify that each one of those probabilities does fall between 0 and 1. So we've met the first. The second is that the sum of all your probabilities need to add up to 1. So again, 1 in this case would be 36 out of 36. So if I added up my numerators, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then I would in fact get 36 out of 36. You can verify that for yourself. And so we do meet our two conditions. So here is our completed discrete probability distribution for the sum of two dice rolled. All right, guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in a future one.